And uh, you got, of course, a headliner that we're just, uh, we couldn't be more thrilled to have here. And your act that's coming out right now, that's going to be a warm up for that, is a, is a lady that was hand picked by your headliner to do so this evening. She's been with us before. It's always a pleasure. Welcome to the stage, Juanita Lolita. <laughs> Like Mr. Les says, mi nombre es Juanita Lolita. And I need to know if you, the late crowd, Sarasota can say for me, Juanita Lolita. Juanita Lolita! That's good. It's a funny name, huh? Juanita Lolita is a funny name? Oh, come on, it's a funny name. It is a funny name. You know what's funny to me about the name Juanita Lolita? <laughs> I don't talk like that. I don't even know how to speak Spanish. <laughs> Juanita Lolita is my real name. Thank you. And just so you know, that beginning part of the show is my favorite part of the show. Because <laughs> when I come out here talking like this, I see everybody looking at each other going, I can't do this. Where's the subtitles? Nothing. Juanita Lolita, kid you not, my real name. My parents did that to me. That is my first and middle name, Juanita and Lolita. My last name growing up, Mills. <laughs> Juanita Lolita Mills. <laughs> Do you have any idea how hard it is to have the name Juanita Lolita and not know how to speak Spanish? <laughs> Lord have mercy. But what's funny is my older sister, she speaks fluent Spanish, but that's because she was born in Miami. <laughs> and I was born in Florida. <laughs> You've been to Miami, haven't you? <laughs> I got my name because I'm the product of a West Virginia hillbilly. You from West Virginia? All these West Virginians, let me see your teeth. That's a lot of teeth. Pass them up so I can show everybody. <laughs> the other half of me is a New York City, Puerto Rican. So that makes me a hell of a Rican. And all that means is that deep down inside of me, half of me does not like the other half. <laughs> But that's a hard marriage right there, y'all. Hillbilly and a Puerto Rican. But I kind of think all marriages are difficult, aren't they? We have married people here? <laughs> okay, do you see that total lack of enthusiasm? <laughs> we had a couple of nice people go, <laughs> newlyweds. Everyone else <laughs> was like, uh, what'd you have to bring that up for? Right, because let me hear the difference. Let me hear the difference. It's your single make noise. Let me hear the single people. You see the difference? Because y'all ain't had the life sucked out of you yet. I'm serious. Being married is one of the reasons that I don't eat healthy. It is. I saw this woman on TV. She was like, yeah, if you take good care of yourself. And if you eat right, you could live to be a hundred years old. I took one look at my husband. I went and got a cheeseburger with chili fries. <laughs> That's a long time to be with one person. <laughs> he feels the same way. Who do you think was driving the car? Because people change when they get married, right? They do. Like, for instance, when we were dating, if I said I was thirsty, he'd go, oh, baby. Let me get you something to drink. And he'd go get it. 
Right? And now that we're married, if I say I'm thirsty, he'll go, oh, get me something while you're up. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? It is. Before we got married, I thought he was Superman. I did. There was nothing he couldn't do. Nothing. And I still think he's Superman. I'm just convinced that gold wedding band is kryptonite. Because <laughs> ever since he said, I do, he don't no more. <laughs> but I realize, y'all, I've, I've changed too. I have. I have. So I was wanting to put a spark back in our marriage. One of the ladies in my Bible study, she said, oh, you got to do what I did. She had went online and got a fishnet bodysuit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to add a spark to my marriage. No, I don't think he wants to see a sumo wrestler in a hammock. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the fat on my body would squish out of those little holes. It'd kind of be like Play-Doh going through a cheese grater. <laughs> The only thing that's gonna do is stop him from ever going fishing again. That's, that's all that's gonna do, man. I'll tell you what. But I do have some advice, I do, and this works for men or women. You want your significant other to think before they speak? You tell them you wanna become a comedian? My husband is so afraid of giving me new material. <laughs> he hasn't spoken to me in months. <laughs> Of course, it doesn't help at all that I'm following that man around with a pen and piece of paper going. <laughs> you need to slow down. Oh, I wish I was wearing a wire. Then I realized I was wearing a wire. Victoria's Secret could make a fortune if that underwire bra had a microphone. Wouldn't that be great? When he goes, what? I, I never said that to you. Oh yeah? Let's review the tape. <laughs> you like that? Yeah, that's my Victoria's Secret agent undies. 0038. Triple A. All right, and I have a disclaimer to make. I didn't get this thing at Victoria's Secret, okay? I didn't, I didn't. I don't shop there. Any of y'all shop there? That place is expensive. It is. I think that's why they call it Victoria's Secret. Because when you get home, you're hiding the receipt. <laughs> it's expensive. My friend said she needed to go. <gasps> We've got to find a Victoria's Secret because their underwear is on sale for $10. I said, for one pair. <laughs> I can go to Walmart and get me a six pack of britches for $10. <laughs> Serious. Of course, I realize now it's because the stitching is irregular. Because the pair that I had on the other day, the elastic that was around my right leg was really tight. It was messed up. So then by the end of the day, I had kind of lost feeling in this leg, so I was kind of just having to do this just to get this leg to wake up, right? And then I realized, y'all, that's why the people at Walmart walk like that. You've seen them pushing their shopping cart. I used to wonder what was wrong, and now I know. It's just a cheap undy popping lock, that's all I do. Oh, oh, but I tell you, I needed something like this the other day. I needed it. Because my husband was out of town. I called him up to see how things were going. And he goes, I don't like this area I'm at. Said I went out to dinner and a cougar tried to pick me up. <laughs> cougar? Y'all, my husband is over 55 years old. If an older woman's trying to pick him up, that's not a cougar. <laughs> That's a saber-toothed tiger there. <laughs> and look, I'm not making fun of getting older. I'm not, I'm not, because I'm getting older myself. And I don't know when that happened. 
I don't. I kind of feel like I went to bed one night and then I woke up and went, good Lord, how long was I sleeping? Someone should have checked on me. It's true, and I really felt it the other day. I went to the doctor, and he says to me, I do believe you are menopausal because you're irritable and you're moody. So he gave me a prescription for irritability. And that stuff works good. It does. I've been giving it to my husband. Hey, he was menopausal long before me. <laughs> and it was working good. Until I caught him crying. At a Publix commercial. Where they little separated those little pilgrim salt and peppers. I had to stop dosing him. Because, I mean, you want a sensitive man, but at that point, we were just an operation away from being a lesbian couple. <laughs> but being married for as long as we've been married, man, I, you know, I realized that we women, we really do a lot to look good for a man, don't we? We really do. We do everything from A to Z. Airbrush, Botox, collagen diets, emulsifiers, facials, girdles, hoisted, jerked, injected, kale, lap bone, microderm, nipped, operated, peel, quaff, rhinoplasty, tuck, tuck, underwired, vex, wax, exfoliated, yanked, and zumba. <laughs> it's true. It is. You men don't believe me. Let's do it in beauty products. All made, Bonnie Bell, CoverGirl, Dove, Estee, Flirt, Goody, Hydroxidone, Acetoma, Jurgens, Coraline, K, Mary K, Noxema, Olay, Pantene, Quest, Revlon, Sephora, Ulta, Veet, Weight Watchers, XO, Yes, and Zoloft. <laughs> All right, I realize Zoloft isn't a beauty product. But if A through Y doesn't work at Z, he don't care. True, man. We do all that to look good for you men, and we're just happy when you take a shower. <laughs> She's like, I do like Saturdays. I do. I do like Saturdays. True, man. But I tell you, we women do so much stuff that you men need to be marrying us for what's on the inside. <laughs> that outside's gonna fade fast, man. Once you say I do, you've got no idea what's gonna peel off, fall off, flake off, or wear off. <laughs> you don't believe me, you ask my husband. <laughs> Every time he sees me without makeup on, he tases himself. <laughs> he says it's less painful. <laughs> I don't care, at least he's drooling over me. <laughs> out here. I love McCurdy's. Love, love, love this comedy club. Love it. It's awesome. And I've been blessed, man. I've been asked to perform at a lot of places. I was asked to perform at this club in Tampa called Club Caliente. Y'all know what that is? Hot, right? Club Hot. Now, I knew Club Hot, so I'm going, I need to check this out. Manager for me, Club Caliente was a nudist. I said, nude like naked. <laughs> he said, yes, but that's just the audience. <gasps> he said, if it makes you feel any better, it's a retirement community. <gasps> I did not feel better. <laughs> a retirement community, naked people, oh Lord. Now look, if there's a gentleman on the front row enjoying my show, I don't wanna know how much. <laughs> Do not understand that retiring in a nudist resort. Lord have mercy, I feel better than my poor husband has to see me naked. Right, cause I'm getting older and things do not look like they used to. <laughs> but he's getting older too and his eyesight's messing up so we equal out. <laughs> that is the way God intended it right there. He'll be like, baby, want me to get my glasses? <laughs> no. 
it'll be better for the both of us if you don't see what you're about to get yourself into. I don't understand that, retiring in the nudist resort. In fact, there's a few things I don't understand. I only have a, a few minutes to share a couple of them with you. I don't understand why sometimes when you go into a bathroom, some of the things are animated and some are not. Animated, automated. <laughs> Animated. If I walk into a bathroom and the toilet is dancing, I'm leaving. <laughs> Automated. You know what I mean. I went up to a soap dispenser and it gave me soap. I went over to the sink and nothing happened. I started dancing around like a sprayed cockroach trying to get that thing to go off. Little girl walks in, looks at me like I needed to use the crayons and she turned the water on for me. Right? Then I went over to the hand dryer, and it was one of those turbo hand dryers. <laughs> they don't need toilet paper in them bathrooms, right? But it's a whole lot better than the old hand dryers. You remember the old hand dryers? It was like having an old man breathe on you. You remember those? I try on, I don't look skinny. I look like a golf ball on a tee. I'm going to give you a minute for the visual. I want you to picture the dimples and everything. I shouldn't call them skinny jeans, they should be called bakery britches. Because <laughs> all they do is mm, up a muffin top, man. Do you know the muffin man? <laughs> uh-huh, his name's Levi Strauss. <laughs> the only good thing about those jeans for me when I tried them on is there was so much stuff being pushed up over the top. <laughs> for the first time in my life, I had cleavage. <laughs> it was awesome, man. But those skinny jeans, they're hard to get up. They are. And I don't think you men realize that that is the real reason that two women go to the bathroom together. <laughs> We're not talking about you. <laughs> One woman is helping the other to get them britches back up. <laughs> See, you men use this little loop that's on the side of your jeans for a belt. We ladies use that as a hoist, don't we ladies? Come on, ladies, round of applause if you use this loop to pull your britches up. Yes, you do. Ladies, round of applause if you've ever broken this loop off. <laughs> yes, you have. Every one of my jeans has this thing waving in the wind going, I held on as long as I could. <laughs> she needed a bigger size. All right, got a little bit more for you. Before I get out of here, I will have merchandise to sell after the show, all right? Um, I don't know if y'all realize it or not. I did all clean comedy for you, and I hope that you enjoyed that. <laughs> Couple people, good, awesome. <laughs> and that's not, that. thank you, but that's not because I have any problems with any comedy. I don't. I love all forms of comedy. I do my comedy clean for a different reason. I do it to give glory to God, and I call it Stand Up For Him. Thank you. Because this is the United States of America. We need to stand up for what we believe in and in God I trust. So there you are. Thank you. And I want to say too that, you know, I'm sorry, but if me holding up an American flag offends you in any way, then maybe you shouldn't be in America. There you just go to Miami. That's it, just go to Miami. <laughs> all right, so when I had them skinny jeans on in the dressing room, y'all, and I had all that stuff pushed up over the top, the saleswoman walked in. She went, well, oh my. And she brought me in a pair of Spanx. Now, see, women are chuckling, right? And men are going, what is this thing of which I've heard? 
Gentlemen, I'm gonna get y'all up to snuff. Spanx is a full one-piece body girdle, right, ladies? Goes from here all the way up to here. It has shoulder straps that goes up and over to hold it into place. It's made out of this rubber-like or spandex material that is about five sizes smaller than that woman would ever dream of trying to squeeze into. Me trying to shim me into that thing was the equivalent of getting a king-size mattress into a smart car. A lot of the same pushing and shoving. And I thought it was hard to get on. It's harder to take off. It's a good thing it had an opening in the bottom to pee out of. It is, I wore it for a week. I had to wait for the elastic to wear out before I could get that thing up. It didn't take long because it was under a lot of stress. But even then, y'all, I only had just enough room to get a pair of scissors in there. I had to cut myself out of those things. And ladies, look, if this happens to you, do not do what I did, all right? If this happens to you, because I took them scissors and I cut, I should have cut down like this, but I didn't cut down like this. I cut across like this. Well, that rubber rolled up, it rolled down like wind to shake down. My husband walked in, took one look at me, and tased himself. God bless you all. I am Juanita Lolita. Woo! Woo! Thank you so much. All right, I have the distinct pleasure this evening of introducing your headliner, who needs no introduction, because you have all seen him in the movie, Harlem Nights, right? You've seen him in the movie, Coming to America, right? He had his own talk show. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Arsenio! Take a bow, young lady. Thank you. Sarasota. Hey, y'all, how you doing? Now, you got to send me the picture when you get home. You got to tweet me or something. Don't look 